So I just came from downstairs. I know you're writing Fearless Friday. I am. And everybody's here. Steve and Holly are here. Bronson is up. We were having some really cool conversations I'm excited about. I'm excited. And Dr. Barry and Nisha are on their way over so that we can have some lunch together before we all head over to the conference later on tonight at 6 o'clock. And I'm really excited about it. But right now, can you smell it? Can you smell? There's bacon in the what air. Can you smell what Steve is cooking? Right. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So, you want to know what we're having for lunch? What's for lunch? We've got Lynette's Broccoli Salad. Coming to a theater near you. We've actually got the recipe. We're going to be doing a video for it, but it's probably going to be a little bit of time because we got to wait until after beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Can't, you, couldn't one of the bees be broccoli? Oh, that would be awesome. Nope. Well, here's the thing. So... Lynette made it to go to Autumn's house, and somehow we all forgot it. I feel like that was a subliminal thing because we didn't want to share it. Now we get we to wanted eat it. More but we have to bring us. some to Autumn. We do have to bring some to Autumn because it's, it's really, good. really, 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 really good. Then we got jalapeno poppers, which I don't know. I'm eating like a whole tray of them. I Yourself, don't know about you, I'm you gotta just finish them out. Then there is Brussels sprouts with bacon. Right. That's cooking. And then there's obviously a whole bunch of meat to cook. Meat. And eggs. Like breakfast, it's going to be a good thing. I'm excited about breakfast. We so throw down. So I was downstairs while you're here writing uh, Fearless Friday, and I was talking to Bronson. And he started talking about my ankle and some exercises that we could do to help improve the strength on my bad ankle. One of the things he suggested was when I get on the rowing machine, he's like, I want you to take your good leg. Keep it off the this rowing This is my good machine. leg. So put my right leg. He's like, you're not allowed to use it at all for rowing. Like, keep it to the side. Ooh. And you're going to use only your left leg. Because I don't have the range of motion. So he's like, when you come in, it's going to force your ankle to bend more. How cool. And then when you push out, that's going to strengthen that calf. I love this. Is that this. not exciting? I love this. I'm so glad that he is a part of the keto community. I am too. And such a resource for mm -hmm. us. And now here's the thing. So we were talking about coaching and, and Bronson is such a good coach. And he's got so much knowledge on, on building muscle and protein. I mean, he's really the person who really started leading us towards investigating more of a one-to-one -one lifestyle. Yeah. And so for our Patreons, are you ready for this? Yeah. The second Tuesday of every month, Bronson is going to do a live coaching call for all of our Patreons on Zoom. How fun. So you're going to get a live stream with us every month. And this is for all levels of Patreon, not yep. just the $25 level, all levels, the $5, the $10, the $25 level. It's going to be every Tuesday. It's going to be a live coaching call, not one-on-one, -on -one, just mm -hmm. the whole group. You'll be able to ask him questions and then he's going to record it. So if you miss it, You'll be able to do it. And the first one is going to be in October. Date and everything is down below. And of course, it will all be linked on Patreon. Now, he is very knowledgeable when mm -hmm. it comes to nutrition. Yep. But I feel like this is going to be an opportunity for us to start continuing to have discussions every single month about fitness. Right. Fitness does matter. Yep. And again, as we have success on keto, we don't have to live the same sedentary life right. that we had pre-keto. So if I'm going to still sit on the couch, I may be in a smaller shirt, but is that really living right. if, if I don't get up and do something mm -hmm. with this new level of health? And it doesn't have to be go to the gym for two hours a day like keto savage. No, I mean, for me... 
I felt like it was a super victory because we built up our stamina that we were able to walk around town yesterday. That's right. We went to the Louisville Slugger Museum. We went to uh, the Kentucky Derby Museum. And then we still had stamina energy mm -hmm. to be partying down over at Autumn's house later that night. Now, in the past, I would have been like, pick one. Yep. That's all that I you have energy for because I can't be walking around and it's hot. And, you know, I was talking to Shauna too and she was like, well, we had such a beautiful full day. And I feel like pre-keto, I probably would have said, okay, I'm going to sit this out. And boy, that'll preach because right. we don't want to sit out our lives. That's right. We don't want to miss stuff. There were so much beautiful things to see yesterday and we don't have to miss out. Speaking of missing out, we're about to miss out on food. Ooh. You need to finish that. I'm going to get down and get a head start on you. Rachel. You're going to miss the food. I better get down there. Come on. Okay. Bacon. The cook is here. Bacon. 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 Oh, look at all that. I don't know what I'm more excited about. Crispy bacon? Crispy bacon. That's the best over way to have bacon. I'm going to have some of that. I'll crispy, Bill. Because there's extra crispy over there. That's purple. You brought it back to carbon. Stuff. Yeah. That's carbon neutral bacon. <laughs> That's Rachel's kind of bacon right there. What do we do when you get Chris in the same house with me and Steve? We fly a drone. Rachel just yelled at you, Joe. I know. I'm being yelled at. This is me. And I said, no, that's my husband. But I want the footage. Because that would be really cool footage. <laughs> Where's the bacon? Chris bacon. almost hit me. Yeah, he was like, this is what he drones without you. I know, it's our fault. I bought them. I have a hole in my ceiling at my house. Do you really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's not enough jalapeno poppers for me. <laughs> There's a whole nother pan. There's, There's a whole, whole nother pan. Oh, yeah. Oven. You see in there? Okay, that's about how much I need. Because I only have two more days and I can't eat it for 30 days. Okay, Rachel's in there talking. Here we got, we got jalapeno poppers, a little bit of broccoli salad, some eggs, sausage, and bacon. Hi, everybody. Uh, we are so lucky that we're here hanging out with all our, uh, a bunch of friends uh, at Keto Palooza. And I thought it'd be fun to kind of go around and just give one little piece of advice that we could use to improve our health. And mine is, be nice to yourself. No one is the health expert on you except for you. Uh, if you are in pain, find out why before just going to a pill or a something similar to a medication. Um, do something that makes you happy every day. I like. I would just say never give up on yourself. You have to be your best advocate. I would say uh, go to therapy as often as possible. That's a good one. I'd say move your body. You're meant to move, and if you don't do it, things just go downhill from there. But they have new VR glasses <laughs> that are meant to be worn. I thought you were going to say <laughs> <laughs> um, Find out what works for you, because the things that work for you may not work for other people. We get a lot of that in the keto community. People are like, hey, can, is this keto? Is that keto? If you're allergic to peanuts, peanuts aren't keto. If you can't do nightshades, jalapeno poppers are not keto for you either. So figure out what works for you and do keto your way. I would say remember that you're not alone, that everybody you know, in this room wants you to succeed. You're not by yourself. This is not like you're the only experience. There's a lot of people who have walked that walk that, that you've walked and um, we're cheering for you. I would say start simple and be consistent with what works for you. Be honest with yourself and don't lie to yourself. All heavy whipping cream has carbs. <laughs> <laughs> so counting it as zero is only lying to yourself and going to hurt you. 0.41 grams per tablespoon. Just remember the difference between wants and needs. Your body needs fat and protein. You may want carbs, but you need fat and protein. So focus on what your body needs and not necessarily what you want. Nobody said eat meat. 
And he's like, <laughs> I don't want to take that away from the other yeah. people. And, and shave your head. I figured that was going to be I think if you average everything we all said, that's what it comes down to. Yeah. Eat your meat. Oh, yeah. 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 So if you eat meat, you're doing something that makes you happier. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 You feel good about it. It's kind of like therapy. It's therapy. Yeah. It's, right? yeah. it's fat and protein. It's going to help you keep moving. It helps you keep moving. Yeah. Especially if you have to hunt your meat. Yeah. <laughs> and if you eat meat, you'll never be alone because as soon as the smell of bacon fills the air, you people will gather it. toward it. If yes. you make it, yes. they will come. Wow. <laughs> I think they should make a movie. I think cooking, none of these people are even bacon, I need the rest to whisper the bacon. Even the people that come to you with the bacon, they're going to come to you in anger, but they're going to come to you. Have you <laughs> ever made a smoothie and then a bunch of people show up to your house? No, never. <laughs> this has happened. But you make barbecue and like you can make a party just by adding barbecue. Okay, we're about to do the silliest thing. Is there a better word for it? Dumbest? Dumbest Nisha thing? Be over so, oh wait, so Nietzsche is going to direct this? She's, oh my gosh. So, Keto Chow handed out these silicone oven mitts. So, Steve, Chris right is here, here Chris hospital. is here. <laughs> we were talking in Omaha how these things are cool and they're going to protect you from hot grease. And the, I like this is the other kind. We decided these are going to be really good dueling mitts or punching mitts. Dueling mitts. Yeah. They will protect you. So if you. if you have to challenge someone to a duel to of save course. your honor, mm -hmm. yeah, there you go. Yeah, it it'll it does double right. duty. Are you guys going to take so like what are we doing? a couple of steps and turn and face each other? It will protect you from the the hot, but it won't protect you from stupidity. Like that's just that's gonna come shine right through. So so what are we doing? We're gonna take some bacon grease. So it's gonna. We just made some jalapeno poppers. De demonstrate how you would use it to pick up something okay. out of the oven, and like if you're using it to pick up, we don't have a big pork roast. But right. Yeah, that's what would be great for. If, if, yeah. If you oh, yeah. I could do yeah. this with Anthony next week when I make a pork. Yeah. Though. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll just. Plans. We're making plans for future idiots. <laughs> Pick it up like you're, like they're hot. Okay. And then you can. Sounds good. We better head outside. Yeah. You know? we better. Yes. This, this isn't our house. This Although is... we probably definitely shouldn't do it in our house. In your house, also no. Disclaimer: Don't do this at home. Don't do this at all. You've heard of a dad joke. This is like a. This is this is this is a dad prank. So, yeah, these things are really good because oh. with this nice hot thing. Like you can pick up stuff and you don't feel it. Look at that. Yeah, I like the how oven. long they are. I love these are the longer ones, right? The other ones are shorter. Yeah, the oven yeah. mitt works perfectly for what it was designed to do. Yeah, I mean, now this is, there were two different versions. One was cloth on one side and silicone on the other. This is the silicone on both sides, which means you can put one on each hand. So they're perfect for this. Perfect for slap But then now the problem is we got a bunch of grease on here. And they really do make. And, and see, if I were to do something against Rachel here, right. now he's. You could defend me. Well, you better come over here because yeah. you're you're in the Slap you're light. in the splash zone. So you better come over on this. <laughs> so once you're done, when somebody tries to steal your jalapeno poppers, oh, okay, you can just go like this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my god. I mean, you have a couple of them, so you can really have a nice, so like, slap fight. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay, so it's his turn now. And, 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 I'll do and, that. <laughs> and now I smell great, too, because it's oh, like. It's the a, perfect a, man a, cologne. Okay, so forget ass. We don't need body ass. So as soon as <laughs> he goes back some... inside, Holly is going to just attack him because bacon. Well, of course. Well, yeah, put some on my husband because I, I want that same animal attraction to him. Cause... Slap him hard and put some stank on it. Oh, Lord. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. I don't know, Steve. You're a strong guy. Like, I think. Could do better than that. It, it smells good. It, it does, does smell. smell really, really good. But if I went and did the other do. side, now you're in the. You're oh, in that's the, all right. <laughs> I'll take the hit. If he'll the... take the hit. <laughs> yes! Oh, you're yes! <laughs> I am strangely more attracted to you right now. Don't, 
do this at home. Don't. If you want to do this at home, let your kids do it in the kitchen. And, Slap and just it. to note, we did let the grease cool before we did this. Yeah, we, we did, did not it. take we this did. right out of the oven. <laughs> no hot grease. I like your shirt. One life. Yeah. I guess you're living it. Yeah, that's right. You're not exercising with all of them? I'm not. I'm admiring their exercise. They're so much better. Like, yeah. Like, they're next leveling. But You're saving up for tonight. I am. And while they're exercising, I'm like, Rachel, you need to do something. So I did clean our room. It looks awesome. Which was a hot mess. It really, really looks so awesome. So I'm going to throw a load of laundry in. And I feel very productive. So we had a thing from a subscriber recently. And they posed the question. You're going out to eat. And since oh. you are mostly carnivore, yep. you're going out to eat with a group of people. This is your only meal for the day. And you go to a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Fasting's not an option, so we can't go there. <laughs> you, you have to. I have to eat something. You have to eat something. So what, what would be in order of what you are not going to eat versus what you are okay to eat? Where will your body recover the fastest? Sugar. Carbohydrates like maybe sweet potato or french fries or a meat that is cooked in a canola oil or some kind of seed meat. oil. Sure. Why? And wait, what would be the last despite thing that you would have? Despite the vegetable oil, despite the inflammatory nature. Yep. Mm -hmm. still well, again, so this is for me. Right. Someone else may be more, may recover faster and metabolize the sugar or whatever the carbs better and not have as much inflammation from it right. as they would the seed oil. Right. Or the vegetable oil. So, but for me, I would prefer to have the meat mm -hmm. from a nutrient density and a satiety perspective. Right. Because I will still eat less of whatever it is, mm -hmm. even though it's more inflammatory than the French fries or something sugary. Right, so yeah. it's and it's not even a fuel thing at that point. Now we're talking about the three keys: right, nutrient density, satiety, and bioavailability. So it's still more bioavailable, it's still more nutrient dense, and it's still more satiating. And then what is number two? So you've got now your your the perspective is like what would be next in line: carbs versus the sugar. Um, it'd probably be the carbs. Yeah, I mean I don't know what the sugar what because now it's it could be more, anything. Right, if you're talking about French fries, I don't know what you mean by sugar. Right, right, but obviously it's probably closer to a probably whole, like it's probably or closer like to that. a whole food than something that's more processed. So, right. if you had to, right. again, why is fasting not an option? <laughs> again, right. Hey, Chris. Mom. Okay, mom. mom. Chris, I'm sorry, but Rachel asked me. <laughs> oh no! Oh, Joe! Oh man, here he goes. Wow. <laughs> wow, I am impressed. Hey, wow. it was her idea. I was not. Don't you dare blame <laughs> that on idea. me. Hey, so Rachel almost. He is me amazing. Up. I got out of the shower. She took my clothes, which had my coin in it, uh -huh. and put them in the wash. And I went to get it, and I'm like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, Rachel, where's my shirt? She's like, what? I'm like, I need them before <laughs> Steve. And he goes, John. I'm like, no, not now. And all the way in the bottom of the wash machine, came out of the pocket. Like, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. <laughs> So you're here because you're weak back here. Yeah. So it's gonna pull you back here. Okay. Yeah, I can feel it like right here. Yep. I hate to do that. So just like that. Awesome. Right, I'm entitling okay. my picture. Okay. Go up a little bit higher. Joe, stick it up. Right. Higher, 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 higher. There you go. So if you can do those like on a daily basis, right? Eventually, you get to the point where you can keep your chest down, your back is flat, and your hands are flat. Oh my goodness. Oh, you can get to where yeah. your elbow and your hand's flat. Yeah, right. right. Well, right. the problem is, is let's see, um, this doesn't straighten. Well, so that, that you're going to stay bent. Okay. Because I can't straighten this arm, and then this arm, I turn, I tore the meniscus. So you can see, like, it hurts. Yeah. 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 So, so like, I'm just a big mess. <laughs> so, like, this. See how, like, I can't bring that arm up because of this, this arm, like this. But plus, I can't seem to turn it in. That's is because, that because that's of the muscle tight. tight. That's okay. your shoulders aren't going back far enough. Oh, okay. So try the whole goal is to get it flat like this. That has to make your back feel better once you like get to that point. Oh, yeah. it hurts Absolutely. right now. It, it hurts it's, it's in a here. It's a, it works. The oh, she's recording this right now. It's a, it's a <laughs> it's a posture thing. So it helps keep the shoulder blades so you're here right. instead of here. Okay. So when you're here and you lift, you're actually that's what impingement is. You're pinching the joints. Right. 
So if I can stay back here and lift, now I'm in a proper position. Okay. Can we switch so that we can see what it's supposed, what to, look supposed like? to look like? What it's supposed <laughs> to look like? That's it. So keeping your lower back on the wall. Okay. Arms up. And then being able to go up. Yeah, and now watch, she's gonna go all the way up. Yeah. No, I'm not wow. going all the way up. That's about my range right now. So we're waiting for Rachel. Everybody else left and went over to the event. So just waiting for her to come down. I have no idea what she's wearing because she wouldn't show me. She kicked me out and said I have to go downstairs. You ready? Whoa, what are you wearing? Um, all the sequins that oh. Amazon had to offer all collectively on one dress. Okay, wait, I gotta look back. It's supposed to be a potty though. Wow. Let's have a potty. Let's just stay home. Can we just stay home? You look amazing. Yeah. Let's have a potty. I don't know if the backpack goes with it, but you look, yeah. <laughs> The backpack. Now we got Rachel. Sequence with a Nightmare Before Christmas backpack. You look great. Where'd you get that? Amazon. Amazon has everything. Amazon? How much was that thing? I think it was like $29. Like cheaper than a shirt. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get a water and then let's get out of here. Are you ready for this? I am so ready for it. Um, I'm always a little anxious when I meet people that they will be disappointed when they see me in person. What? That's the, that's the Rachel, like going back to my before keto and just always living life without a lot of confidence. And so I never want to disappoint anybody. And I think, gosh, if, if they meet me and they're like, you don't seem cool at all. Like, ew, <laughs> that's what I'm always afraid of. I think we have to work on your confidence issue. A little bit. Okay. There you go. We got a big honking bag of Redmond's. Yep. Um, some comparison cards between Redmond and regular salt so like people can share it with their loved ones. And then also some creamy root beer for Autumn because she can't find it. She here. can't find it and she's like, I really want to taste it. And since we drove, we brought our cooler one and I have it. One for Richard. in my hometown first of all yeah i started to come last year i thought it would be canceled like everything else right um but to meet people that you've talked to for so long and that have kept you on track for so long yeah you, you gotta look, do that you look you guys look absolutely incredible so how much weight is been lost with you i'm at 100 I'm at like 175 175 pounds 175 pounds keto doesn't work yeah, it yeah, doesn't, it work. doesn't work though. Did you get that memo? It don't I, work. I still I'm get perfect. messages on my YouTube. Just just diet or just uh, exercise and quit save your money. Yeah. Like what does that have to do with what I'm doing? And if you're I've already lost the weight. And if you're not watching Slap a Sick, you're you're missing out. Because not only do you have like the cutest recipes with with his children that are adorable. I mean just and they actually have, don't have like a sibling rivalry that's like fighting. They they really encourage one another, which is super cute. And then also, your product reviews are very honest too, right? Like it's just, <laughs> he's gonna tell you if it's like, 
Oh. That's not good. Oh yeah, I've, I've spit stuff out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you have to sometimes. And if I record it, it's going on there. Yeah. I'm not editing it out. I'll know today. Oh my goodness, it's so good it's to so see you. you. Hi, Joe. God. Hey. Does anyone say hi to you? A little bit. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, that's why she's like, maybe you should go to Vegas without me. And I'm like, <laughs> your backpack is wonderful with your dress. And you fly just like birds of a feather. I won't tell no lie. All of the people around y'all, they say, can they be Kito? Can they be Kito? We are family. Yeah. What are you gonna sing? sing? I don't know. And as far as I'm concerned, glad I've got the chance to say that I do believe I love you. You're so good. Keep smiling, keep shining.
Well, that was actually better than I even thought it was going to be. And my expectations was up here, but it blew the roof off of it. It was so much fun from the meet and greet to the food to just hanging out and talking to people. Seeing people that we talk to yeah. on a daily or a weekly basis, but now you get to put a face to the name. And then the karaoke. And at the end, again, all I could think about was the birdcage. And I said to Richard, like, we should have all just, like, marched out to the end. We right? are family. And the showmanship of Mr. Richard yes. is magnificent. Everybody. Mama Chris. She's, she's, I don't think there's anything that that woman cannot do. Yeah, Autumn, she can sing. She is a very strong singer. Yeah, it was just a really fun time. By the way, you're a pretty good singer there, Missy. Well, thanks very much. It was just nice to be able to get up and be like, whether or not... I do this song well or finish it. I know that my keto family is going to be clapping for me and cheering for me. No matter, even if I, I sound like, you know, nails on a chalkboard, it's no, okay. Everybody is going to cheer for you. That's right. And that's the keto family. That's right. Are we going to do one of these? I would like to, but this is a lot of work. Uh -uh. Forget a lot of you work. You need an advisory we committee, the advisors that they We're have. We're just going to have to get, you know, everybody from here to fly down there or drive down there. To Let's do all something. do this. My thing is, is I don't think we can ever, like the, the level of expectation of a meetup is now up here. Autumn and I don't it. think I could meet that level of no, expectation. No, I mean, they're just... It's just magnificent. We're just going to have to continue to join families. That's what we're going to have just, to do. Let's just, let's just find places to meet up yeah. and just have fun. Because that was the thing. That there's a relaxed atmosphere. Everybody is so welcoming. Yeah. And honestly, as people were singing different songs, it felt like they were just sharing their heart. Yeah. Uh, of like, you know, that's what friends are for. Yeah. You know, I will survive. Yep. I mean, it was almost like the soundtrack of our keto journey. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, we will. We're going, we're going to live through this together. Well, Missy, I'm tired. Yeah. We have to drive back. There are we four or three jalapeno poppers waiting for me. Except for everybody got back to the house before us. Joe, you need to drive faster. So we're going to head back because I'm tired. And I want to eat. And you want to eat. And we got to see if we can dig your jalapeno poppers out of the hiding spot I put them for you. I hope you hit them good. And uh, we're going to be back tomorrow. We're going on a four mile walk. And I'm going to try to launch my drone through downtown Louisville. Hopefully we're going to be able to. We're, we're crossing over the bridge. Then we got some talks. We got a talk from Bronson and we're going to be speaking. Chris. And Chris from Keto Chow and Dr. Dr. Barry. Barry. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait for tomorrow. So make sure you subscribe and you hit the bell button so that you're notified when that video goes up. But until then, if you like seeing videos like this, go ahead and check out some of the videos that we have linked right over here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over there. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until tomorrow. Bye. Bye.